Here we go. Hello. Hi. So recently on Instagram, we did a little story about um, Kraft Dinner, also known as? It's macaroni and cheese, thank you. All right. So I'm Canadian. Yeah. Darren is American, born and raised in Hawaii. Yeah. I was born and raised in Montreal. Yeah. And there's a lot of differences between Canadian and American words and slang. So we thought we'd play a little game today, do a little pop-up trivia of the Canadian, how I would say it as a Canadian versus how Darren would say it as an American. So um, let's just jump right into this. So we're going to call this video <laughs> Canadian versus, versus American. American. You are so innovative. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's what roll. Do you do? Ready? Where's, where's your list? Let's start with the first one. Number one. I would say Kraft Dinner. You would say? Well, it's macaroni and cheese. Okay. Right. But it's not Kraft Debatable. Dinner. It's macaroni and no, cheese. No, it's actually Kraft Dinner and it's actually actually called KD now, apparently, is what everyone but was saying. But it's made out of macaroni and powdered cheese. It's Kraft Dinner. When you go to Whole Foods, you are going... Grocery shopping? To make a food order. <laughs> you go make a food order. It's grocery shop. You're getting your groceries. You're making a food order. A food order is what you do at a restaurant. I'm going to order my food. Okay, speaking of restaurants, yes. when you go to a restaurant to eat mm -hmm. and you're eating outside, you are eating on a... Plate. <laughs> now the area <laughs> you're going to be sitting on is a... Sometimes it's covered with an umbrella. Chair. What the, are you the trying area. to say? It's a, it's a don't chair. you have pictures? I thought you had a picture list type of I deal. don't have these first ones. Oh, okay. A, a, I would call it a terrace. A seating area? Well, a patio, right? A patio, yeah, yeah. You'd call it a pat like outdoor patio. Darren just doesn't know English. That's well, the no, problem. No, you, you're painting the worst picture ever of what you're trying to say. That's I'm the... going, what are you talking about? It's something you sit on as a chair. So, yes. 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 Um, when patio. You're when you're driving on, to, like, to get somewhere far... You are driving on a uh, on highway on the on the freeway. Or okay, well, we would say highway. You say freeway. Well, I guess it depends. I mean, freeways we have both right. in the U.S. But okay, so now let's do the photo. But you say that your freeway is a highway. Yeah. The fast. Yeah, it's a highway. Yeah, freeway here. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna go with the photos. Maybe we've already done photos. Okay, this is a. Those are otter pumps. Freezies. No, the brand is Otter Pops. They're Freezies. So they're frozen juice. I've never even heard of Otter Pops. The brand is Otter Pops. They're Freezies. We'll go to Costco tomorrow. I'll show you. Okay. When you pay your um, your bill that has like water and power. Utility bill. It's the hydro bill. Hydro is water. What about the electricity? It's all in one. Hydro. But hydro is a... Okay. Hydro Quebec. <laughs> hydro Canada. Because okay. um, so utility is all encompassing. It's, it's water, power, gas. Well, gas, not gas, sewer. Hydro is normally water. Like a hydro power plant is not a utility power plant. It's a What's water that? power plant. Uh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a sled, right? It's, it's a boggin. Oh, what's that? That's a faucet. It's a tap. Get out of here. Tap water. I'm not playing this it's anymore. It's a tap. <laughs> No, what? but that is no, but because it, but but people drink tap water, yeah. so I can see why you would say that. Yeah, it's tap water. It's a tap. Yeah. But technically, it's a faucet. It's a tap. If you go to Home Depot, you say, "Hey, where are your taps?" They're gonna go. They're gonna take you to the beer cake section. What is that? What did you say? Beer cake? Cake? Keg. Oh. <laughs> you said they will take you to the beer cake section. What's that? What are those? Those are rubber bands. They're hair elastics. Yeah, but that's okay. Elastics. But, but you, you call them well. You call them rubber bands. But those. Oh, you, but you just call them elastics, elastics because that right there, that's gonna give you a big old knot. In your yeah, hair. I don't mean th this that is, type. But but you would say you would say those hair. Rubber bands. You would say rubber bands because they're made out of rubber and they're bands. <laughs> I would call them elastics. When you, you know say, what it is, it's the British influence that you have. Yeah. No offense to the British. By the way, but, I, but, no offense to the British. How about thank you, Brits? And I'm so proud <laughs> that we speak this way because we speak properly. Okay. No hate anywhere, Brits. 
Canadians, the Americans are all the same. This is the best one. What's the best? That looks like <laughs> it's like you in the morning sometimes. <laughs> and you wake up and you're like, why are you? Why do you take her trash out? Her diaper stink. And I go, you should take a look in the mirror. Look at your hair. <laughs> and you're like, you know. I'm just gonna carry around a mirror. <laughs> so that when you're like yelling at me about something, I can literally just turn the mirror. I'm just gonna look at you and just go. Well, on that note, yeah. here's a hot tip. If somebody ever yells at you. <laughs> Touche. Continue, you have to tell them what it is now. The law, the So rule anytime of you law. get into a fight with someone in mm -hmm. the future, I want you to know. That when somebody yells at you, yeah. you know when a dog barks, what happens? Their butthole <laughs> falls you safe. You can picture this. And, you and they fart. So next time someone's like yelling at you, all you need to picture is that as they're yelling, their butthole's going. <laughs> yeah, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you laugh. It'll make them even more angry. And they'll yell even more. <laughs> they'll yell more. <laughs> and they'll do more and you'll picture it more. And it'll just be the ongoing circle until they love storm out of the room. Exactly. Oh, oh dear God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what is that? You, they need to see this picture when you edit this they video. They need to see it. What is that? What's she wearing? That's a scary, angry woman. <laughs> what is she wearing? Why would they use that photo? I don't know. But it doesn't really... Uh, what is she wearing? What is she wearing? It looks like a fucking kimono of some sort. No, okay, like, what do you? What do I put on every night when it's I get... a robe. Gonna, like, what, what's it called? Like, when I get out of the bath, I put on a... Robe. Or a... Bathrobe, right? A robe. <laughs> you just put the word bath in front of it. It's a house coat. No, it is not. <laughs> it's called a house coat. Canadians Why would, would call it a house a coat? coat. It's called a house coat. A coat is like this where you go outside with it. But in the house, it's a coat. It's a house coat. You're wearing you're a wearing what? a house coat. What'd you say the first time? <laughs> Goat. You said it a little Canadian, but all right. <laughs> it's a house goat. All right, let's roll. Okay, next. Beg to differ. <sighs> okay, so when somebody's birthday... Show me the picture. <laughs> the picture's not going to tell you anything. The picture's going to give you the Canadian version. I just want to see if that scary woman's going to pop back. No, up. she's not. So if someone's birthday is, like... Someone's birthday is the 20th, mm -hmm. and they're turning 20. Okay. So when you turn 20 on the 20th... <clears throat> What is that called? That birth, 20th birthday. I, d I don't even know if you guys have a term for it. We call it a champagne birthday. Okay, I've heard that. But is that a Canadian thing? I, I think don't think Canadian I would thing. go out to my guys and say, hey, you're turning 20 <laughs> on the 20th. Let's have a champagne birthday. It's called a champagne birthday. It's, sure, I've heard that before, yeah. Okay, what's this? That is a girl who's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but what's she wearing on her head? Oh, that's a hat. It's a it's, it's a like toque. a beanie. <laughs> it's a toque. Alright. Oh, okay. Boy right, band. Right before the boy band. <laughs> right before you get married. Yes. You have a Pinsignetta. <laughs> no, that's when 15. You're... Right before you get married, you have you go out with your boys the day night before and you have a Bachelor party. Right, and as women we have a that's Lorette party. Okay, in Canada it's a stag and a stagette. Stag and stagette. Yeah. I understand stag. Yeah. The last letter of the alphabet is Z. Z. You just added two more letters to it. It's, it's Z. Z. It's Z. It's the Z sound. It's Z. It's much to the detriment of the alphabet song. X, Y, and Z. Dead. Now I, I don't know, know my ABCs. ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? If I go up, you stay down. <laughs> That's how harmonizing works. Oh. What's that? Backpack. It's a knapsack. No, it's not. It's a knapsack. No, it's not. It's a knapsack. Get out of here. What's that? Those are doors. But to what? Bathroom. It's a washroom. It's a washroom. Okay. I've heard that though. Some people call it washroom. In the it's States. a washroom. Oh, this is my favorite one because we have this fight every day in the house, every single day. Hey, babe, can you turn on the? 
The garbage disposal. The garburator. I hear you breathing. <laughs> I hear you breathing out. It's a garburator. It's a garbage disposal. It's a garburator. That's probably the brand name. It's a garburator. Okay. <clears throat> These are? Tennis shoes. Running shoes. Same thing. I don't even know what this is. That's a male penis. <laughs> A gitch or a gotch? I don't even know. Oh, what is this? What is that? Yeah, it's a... Chocolate bar. Thank you, because Americans call it candy bars. And can well, it... no, but you can call it a candy bar. I think it just differentiates. That's that's a chocolate bar, you know, but like if you were going to have a... It's generalized as a candy, so it's candy bar of any kind. Like if you have a Snickers, then it's candy bar. If no. You have Baby Ruth, it's a can candy bar. A candy bar, it would be like a bar made of like... Sour Patch Kids. That's candy. Chocolate is a chocolate bar. A Kit Kat is a chocolate bar. It's not a candy bar. If it has chocolate in it, you call it a chocolate bar. If it's candy in general or chocolate, chocolate <laughs> is included as a candy. I say. No, it's not. It's chocolate is not a candy. Chocolate is chocolate. chocolate. Candy is candy. You can't have any of my chocolate then out there. Uh, it's you chocolate. can't have any of my candy. I don't want any of your candy because I'm going to eat chocolate. Good. What's that? Uh, those are uh, those are cheese slices. It's like uh, craft singles type what, of deal. What kind of what, what do you, what would you call that type of cheese? Uh, cheddar, like it would be like a. Well, it's it that looks like craft singles type of deal. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. Like your craft dinner. No. That's the same brand. Yes, but that's not what I'm asking. This type of cheese, it's not Swiss. Crappy cheese. But what do you call it? Cheese. <laughs> I don't know what you're getting at. What do you call it? Cheese. It's cheese. No, like if you were to want this type of cheese at a restaurant, you would ask for? It's call it American cheese. Right. Yeah. In Canada, we call it processed cheese. Because it's American. <laughs> but it's American. Yeah. yeah. I think that's it. I don't know why I actually did that. I, I think. I didn't learn anything. That's it. Did we learn something today? I'm trying to think if there's any other Canadian saying, isms. Isms that. Um, oh, how would you say the word? Let's talk about pr pronunci pronun pronunciation. Work on that. <laughs> Work on pronouncing pronunciation. Yeah. Um, how would you say A G A I N S T? Against. <laughs> how would you say? That's against. It. Okay, we would say against. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Except actually, <laughs> okay, what the, can we get into that story? What do you call the entryway to a home? The entryway. <laughs> it's a vestibule. A vestibule. <laughs> One time I said, she said hey, babe, hey, can you, you get, get me my the shoes from the vestibule? <laughs> I was like, I didn't know we had a vestibule. <laughs> I thought it was an entryway. We leave our shoes right there by the entryway to the house. A vestibule. What would you call it? A napkin. <laughs> Something you put in your lap or wipe your face with when you're uh, eating? Or a serviette. Yeah, but that's because you that's Canada, that's French Canadian. But I think serviette that it's all French. I think it's all Canadian if you're referring to it as a as a as a as a nice dinner napkin. Like not just like a napkin, but like a fancier dinner napkin. I think all Canadians say serviette. I don't know. Maybe it's French. We don't. I mean I know it's French, but I don't know. Yeah. We don't. My even if you put even if you put shiny junk around it, like one of those little loop things you put around your nice dinner napkin. Dinner napkin. Oh, I know one. What do you fill your car up with? One, two, three. Gas. Gas. <laughs> you put a Z in there. Gas. Um, anything else? Anything else over the years that we've been like, may I, that you make fun of me about? I make fun of you all the time. What do you, oh, I mean? what? <laughs> Obviously, you make fun of me all the time. What is what does it mean when you when you um, wear like denim on denim? What is that? That's a Canadian tuxedo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that shimmy all about? Yeah. <laughs> what was that for? With my giant was either. My laugh was <laughs> scary too. <laughs> like that woman when she's yelling at you, those curlers. <laughs> you better get out of the vestibule. I think that's it. All right, fine holiday fun. Let us know if you have any, if you're Canadian or American. And disclaimer, I love Canadians. And I love Americans. And I love the British. And I love everyone. Everybody's equal. <laughs> <laughs>
in my eyes. Just you all, the rest of you pronounce things wrong. And also, also for the record, um, I am both Canadian and American at this point. So I love both equally. Oh, okay. And technically you're half Canada, half <laughs> Canada too. Half you're Canadian oh, too, so. Okay. It's not how you sing the anthem. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Do you know the national anthem? Michelle Trudeau's our king. Do you actually know the national anthem? What? Do you know how it goes? <laughs> no. I'd like you to sing it. I don't know it. I didn't spend enough time in Canada. Oh, it's the first thing in all the years that we've been together that you have been stumped because you know the answers to everything. What? I don't know the whole no, thing. No, 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 no. You know the answers to everything. This is the first time that you don't know don't anything know about Canada. Anything about Canada. Uh, no, I'm not going to sing Oh Canada. Why? Well, because you're going to make fun of me. I know the National Anthem. I used to have to sing it every single time. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Our home See, ours is charming. It goes up. Native land. Crafted her. That's it. Bye, guys. That's all you get. <laughs> You're like that little <laughs> curlers in. All right. All right, bye.